If you remember a long time ago, I made this box to quiet down the little Honda portable generator. Decided to repurpose it as a solar portable solar generator box. So I did some modifications to it, put the batteries inside, hooked up my old 30 amp Tracer MPPT solar charger, and I got a couple of panels hooked up to it outside, I'll show you in a second. But let's take a look at the box first, and I'll show you some of the finer details of this. And the whole purpose of making this is a transportable, portable solar generator you can take to campsite, you can take to um, <laughs> just about anything you need power. And I'll go through all the finer details here in a second. But uh, let's take a look at the box real quick. Move the handles down, put a new left side plate in. Casters are good, it's already strong. Put some new hasps on it. I've got a shelf system in here. This is going to be a 24 volt system. So I made a jumper between the two Trojan overdrive 12 volt batteries. So in a 24 volt configuration it has 102 amp hour capacity. About useful about one kilowatt hour overnight once I get the inverter and everything running and, and all that. I went with a go power pure sine wave 24 volt inverter and that's going to have 1500 watts of power with a 2000 watt surge and that will be later on testing different video on that but this, this is just the modifying this box for a solar generator you don't see too many of these you see a lot of guys on YouTube making a 12 volt system that's cool uh, the 24 volt system what's good about this is the efficiency and lower heat with this 30 amp solar charger I can put about easily 600 watts of solar panels probably 800 of uh, panels on this thing charge at 30 amps going into the battery so you're talking you know half a kilowatt of power coming into this box there's one thing I do like about this tracer is it has a little MT5 meter which shows you you know your basic stuff on here that's your voltage coming in from the solar panel I got them wired in series I got two of them outside here I'll show you in a sec and then it goes through how many amps coming in. Right now I'm, I'm not pulling in very many amps because I'm at full charge. And the voltage parameter set on this unit is actually pretty good for these Trojans. So I'm not going to doink with messing around with the parameters in here, but I was pretty impressed. And it shows state of charge. Or I'm sorry, 100 amp hours on the batteries. Well, it's a 100 amp hour battery. That's what I put in there. And then it shows the state of charge here. So it's got a lot of cool little features in here. So I'll go through that a little bit more later on. But I just wanted to make sure everything was working. I haven't used this in about three and a half years. And I messed up the screw in here. But these are electrically tied together, the, the negatives, so I just use the negative on the load side and it's charging just fine. It's going to be a slick unit. Slick, slick unit. Powerful, too. Of course, you can shut it. And I'll have all the circuit breakers flush mounted on the front here. Probably go with a 187 series blue C systems. Um, you know, just one single action type thing. Mount the, mount the uh, MT5 meter here on the front. And of course put a outlet with a patio cover on it. 
for the PV cable, I may do a cab cable access panel on the back. I'm not sure if I'm going to do Anderson connectors or not. Excuse me, or I'll stick with the MC4. Not quite sure. One step at a time. All right, lastly, I'll, I'll go out here and show you. Got the two solar panels cooking along here. I got these from Renogy. These are secondhand, factory refurbished with full warranty. Got them wired in series, just collecting a little sun this morning. So, okay, just want to do a quick video. Show you guys where I'm at with this thing. Uh, weight on this with the two batteries is going to be about, total with everything in it, it's going to be about 175 to 190 pounds. So, two-man lift. And I made it small enough where you can fit in the back of a SUV or pickup. Pickup, definitely. But it, it's, you can fit it in the back of a uh, SUV. And also on the solar panel, I want to put hinges so it's so you'll be able to transport it. Hinges and a handle so you'll be able to tote it like a solar suitcase. So, alright. Hey, thanks for watching. And uh, let me know what you think. Comment below. See you next time. Later.